Hello everyone, we are in the episode 14. So what we're gonna do today, it's this uh, five thing right there. So we're gonna set up the API for uh, be able to talk to the backend uh, for the logging part. After that, we're gonna set up finally all the Redux flow. So the action reducer for the logging part. After that, we're gonna set up the Google authentication we forget in the backend. That's gonna be a 10 line of code. After that, we're gonna make the first logging. And finally, we're gonna add the loading screen and we're gonna stop there and continue in the next one. So uh, we're gonna continue. So now time to go to uh, API.js. So you can search API.js right there. So now we're gonna clean some of the stuff here. If you place while we do a console, we're gonna throw the error, that's it. It's gonna be a bit better. Perfect, like that. Yeah, here I'm just missing this. I'm gonna clean that. Perfect, looks a bit better. I've already opened. Um, I've already opened uh, uh, the the app, so you don't gonna wait for me to to run it. So I'm gonna close Google Chrome just to get me some CPU. Perfect. So now here we're gonna create another API. So I'm gonna create it right at the bottom. So that's gonna be Cloud's user API with a constructor. Constructor. We're gonna just set up a path. So finally, almost like what we did uh, right here. Uh, here, sorry. So here we're gonna set this that path gonna be equal to that slash user like that. After that, we're gonna jump here. We're gonna say async logging. We're gonna take some argument. We're gonna have a try catch. When we have an error, we're gonna throw it. And after that, here what we're gonna do it's const data. So we're gonna destructuring the data coming from the response from Axios. Await Axios that post. So this is a post. And what we do, back tip, we're gonna put the variable this that path. So slash user slash out zero. The, the, the route we create in the back end. After that, we're gonna send the argument with this. After that, the only thing we need to do here, return the data. We can have access to it. After that, we're gonna do export cons user equal new user API. Why do this? Because we don't gonna need to uh, initialize a class when you're gonna import it. After that, we're gonna jump back after this to the action. So we're gonna search for action. Oh, I think we didn't create. So if we go inside the out, we're gonna create action the GS in the authentication uh, folder. In this folder, it's gonna be really simple. First thing, we're gonna import the user. So the thing we just created, constant API. After that here, we're gonna do uh, a login constant like that. We're gonna do shift command D from here because I have two uh, cursor that's gonna do in double like that. After that, I'm gonna put my mouse here. I'm gonna do command D, command D to get the other one. I'm gonna do right arrow. And after that, I'm gonna do slash uh, underscore success. Escape, I'm gonna take my login. I take the other one with command D, right arrow, error. After that, if you want to jump from this line to the bottom, you just do command enter. So that here I'm gonna create um, three functions. The first function is gonna be when we have a success. So logging success, we're gonna receive some data, and what we're gonna return, it's an object where we're gonna have a type of logging success. User is gonna be equal to data.user. And finally, token gonna be equal to data that token because remember data is gonna be an object. After that, here I'm gonna create another function called logging error. Gonna take an error and I'm gonna return an object with just a type of logging error and I'm gonna only return the error with because yes, six key value same. We don't need to do nothing more. After that here, we're gonna export a function. Why we export this one? Because we're using Redux Tongue. So Redux Tongue uh, let you able to call more than one function inside your, finally, async your dispatch. So here what I can do is I'm gonna import only one function, but this function gonna talk to the uh, uh, both here. So logging, gonna take the token and a provider. Provider gonna be equal to Facebook or Google. After that, I'm gonna return an async function with the dispatch coming from Redux Tongue. And remember, this is a middleware, so we have access to this just because we have add the tongue. 
After that year, first thing we do, dispatch type of login. Why I do this? Because I want to maybe show us a loading screen or something like that. So if I dispatch at the beginning here, that's going to be easy for me to say loading through. Try catch. When I have an error, I'm going to here return dispatch. Dispatch. And I'm going to return my logging error. And I put my error in. Because remember, the error go there. Here, when I have a... a a good uh, when it's good finally I'm gonna do cons data so this is the data we receive I wait user that login so finally we call we talk here we need to send arguments so we're gonna send an object here so because this is what um, this is what uh, Axios want to send and we're gonna send a provider here so that's gonna be equal to the provider from here remember provider gonna be equal to Facebook or Google and here finally we're gonna return the dispatch Logging success, and we put the data in. And because this is async await, uh, this line of code never, uh, when that's gonna be done, that's gonna jump here. So we know we're gonna get data because of this thing here. So perfect, we set up the action for this. So that time to jump to the reducer. <coughs> so the, at the top of the reducer, we're gonna import the three function we just uh, the three uh, type we just create. So we add logging, logging error, and logging success. After that, here I'm gonna create a variable called initial state, gonna be equal to uh, is logged. So I'm gonna change logged to be is logged. It's much more easy, I think, when you have a boolean to have. Uh, is logged. So I'm going to change here inside my app navigator. So you can type app navigator. I'm going to change my this that prop user to be is logged. It's more easy to know. Oh, this is a boolean because they have a is in, in front. So and I and I do uh, example when I when I have an array, I'm using oops when I have an array, I'm using um, uh, uh, always a plural name. I'm going to just close every uh, window. I'm gonna reopen the reducer. Okay, perfect. So here we have is login. I'm gonna do is loading to be false, token to be nil, info. So the user info is gonna be an empty object, and error gonna be nil. After that, my state here is gonna be equal to initial state. So now time for me to write some case. So here the first case is going to be equal to logging. The only thing we need to do when it's logging is to returning the object er right now, but we're going to change the is loading to become true now because we want to show uh, the loading screen. So that's why I'm calling right here. After that, case logging success going to be return going to be a bit. Uh, with more, more stuff. So dot 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 state. So we keep the object. So we're returning finally the object like you, you know right now. But here we're gonna change is logged to be true now. Is loading to be false. Token to be action that token. This token right here. Action that token. Action that type. Action that user. Action that token. And info gonna be equal to action that user. And finally, when we have an error, logging error, I'm gonna return dot 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 state is loading. It's false. Yes, we have an error, but the loading it's finished. And error gonna be equal to action that error. Perfect. So now we have the reducer. Uh, create for this. We have already plugged in. So now uh, we're gonna need to put it inside the logging screen. It's gonna be really, really simple to do. We jump here at the top. We import uh, connect from Redux. So import connect from React Redux. After that here, I'm gonna do some space. I'm gonna do here import logging from my action uh, file here below. Below, I'm going to do connect. So I'm using the decorator ES7 feature. It's the same if you do a ES6, you can do with the export default below. And, but because I'm a, 
I don't want to copy paste too much code. I'm going to do undefined. And I'm going to do logging. So I don't need to dis. I, I, I'm destructuring the logging from the dispatch. After that, it's going to be really, really simple. We have already done everything here. So finally, when we have the success here, the only thing we need to do is this that probes that logging. And we pass the token coming from here. And we're going to say the provider is going to be called to Facebook. Else, so we're going to just put a else, we're going to throw. A new error, just saying uh, something wrong with Facebook out, just to let us know if something happened. So that here inside the Google, remove here, we're going to say this, that props, that logging. Uh, the token is coming from result that access token, and here we're going to say Google. Nothing more to do, so this is set up. So now, after that, I'm going to just start my backend. Hopefully, I don't going to get problem. I'm going to say uh, yarn build that watch. In the other episode, in the backend, we're going to do a lot more in the backend. We're going to set up a webpack to run the, the server. It's going to be a bit better. And uh, we're going to uh, refactor a lot of stuff. I did a lot of Node.js in the past. Um, uh, three, uh, two, three, uh, two, three week, and I want to give you uh, some of my knowledge I got. So I'm gonna show you all this. So now I can talk to my backend. So what I'm gonna do? It's now I'm gonna run uh, uh, connect with the Google, and I'm gonna just do something in my backend. It's uh, on my yeah. I forget to do. This is what I told you. We need to create the Google out here. So finally, because we forget, we did the Facebook authentication, but we forget to make the, um, the backend one. It's going to be really simple. We have already done uh, it on the Facebook, so that's going to be almost like the same thing here. So we can already copy paste this two line here. And then what we're going to do is, is export async function, Google out, take a token. And here, the only thing you do, it's a try catch. When we have an error, we're going to return this error. And here, we're going to do const data equal await axios dot get. And now, HTTPS uh, this Google API com user info. Oops. Com user info slash v2 slash me. Yep. So that here, you're going to put others, authorization, it's going to be equal to, so this is finally a bearer authentication they have, so this is equal to bearer, and token, finally we return the data, uh, return, sorry, return, get user info, data, and we put Google. Because remember, inside get user info, so you can do command click in Visual Studio to join data and provider. So if it's Google, we take the given name, family name, perfect. <coughs> so now we have done this. So now inside the controller, we just need to change one thing. First thing here that's going to be easier, we're going to do a log, react that body. So we're going to see the body sent here. We're going to just say, we're going to do shift command D, copy paste this line, and do Google out. And here I'm going to do uh, user info equal await Google out and I'm going to pass the token. And here after that, when I'm going to create the user, I'm going to log user. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So don't worry, we're going to refact that later. I'm going to clear. I'm going to do a login. So this is what I sent. I send, and now you see I get an uh, error here. Don't worry, this error, we're going to change it. It's just because React Navigation has changed so much. And I'm going to take almost like a, uh, a 10 minute to just change it. But we're going to uh, uh, do this in the next one. But here you see, okay, so now something go wrong. It's undefined crimper. That's supposed to be my name, but we get something wrong here. And here, 
we have my email and my provider, my UID. This is uh, coming from the MongoDB. So here it's the, the uh, user we created in the MongoDB. And uh, this is what we send. So you see, that's why I'm loving my log. I put in my uh, snippet. It's, I can see really easy. So here is the token I sent to the front end. Uh, uh, this is what I got. You got like uh, the the token and the uh, providers uh, coming from the the front end. So this is the front end send that, and this is what the back end receive. And now the back end send the information to the front end, so the GWT. And now that's why uh, now the logging it's uh, rocking. So now if I ro uh, open the remote GS. So open my inspector and I log. You see my logger now ro ro uh, work. I get logging success, but after that I get the error cause of the React navigation. The only thing we're gonna add is we have uh, some waiting. So now what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna close the remote debug because I have a really uh, bad uh, computer. So I'm gonna jump after that. To my front end here in the logging screen now here at the top i'm going to import from uh, comments here i'm going to import my logging screen loading screen but before that i just want to change something here i'm going to put color props and i'm going to just add this color props if i have no color i'm going to just make it to be gray so like it already are so now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this state. So I'm going to do state, so map state to props right here. I'm going to do is loading. I'm going to take it from state dot user that is loading. And I'm going to go right here. I'm going to do if this dot props dot is loading. I'm going to just return the loading screen. And why I did the color? Because here I want it to be red color red colors so now if I connect loading and now I'm gonna get the error perfect so this is what we do today so we plug the Google authentication don't worry the Facebook work too it just I don't want to like show, uh, show you all my password because we see it but it's work too so finally, what we did is because of the, the, the function we create inside the, um, inside the model here, we have a function called find or create. So if you find the user, we send back the user, but if it's not, we create the user. So, uh, so that's going to be uh, how we get, uh, this is uh, what we're going to do here. I just think we have an error. Yeah, I should do let user here. But don't worry, are we going to do this in the next one? So, uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, in the next one, we're going to set up much, much more about the back end. We're going to work a lot more, more there to make it a bit more uh, better. And we're going to jump to in the front end to make the React navigation working again. Because it's not like it's not <laughs> the, my fault. I mean, they change a lot of their API. So, I hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe if you like it, and uh, share it to your friend if you think that can be a. Uh, good for them and I hope you enjoy and again inside the comments I try to answer if you want so if you have questions let me know have a good day bye